Hey y'all. Welcome back to Abyss Odyssey. I'd like to thank all of you for indulging me while I continue to get this game out of my system. Uh, I know it's not a very popular game, but I like it a pretty good bit. I've done everything there is to do in this game, except for unlock all of the characters. I still don't, I still don't know which three I could possibly be missing. Uh, I've looked it up online and I can't find like a comprehensive enemy list or anything, so I don't know. But the only other thing I have left to do is to play the game on nightmare difficulty. Enemies are much more aggressive, not even remotely fair. Sounds like a great time for everyone. So, uh, in order to give myself the maximum possible advantage, I will be playing as as Pinkoya. Oh my god. Look at that map. There is so much... So much dark red on that map. I wonder if that's because I chose Nightmare Difficulty, or... Or if, if that's just a, a bad roll. Let, let me try starting a new game. And see if, uh... Well, that seems to be a little better. Uh, hello, Kostya and Inzone123 in the chat. All that offlineiness? Not, not sure what you mean. Okay, so, uh, like I said, I'm going to give myself as many advantages as possible since I'm playing on Nightmare, which means I'm going to buy the best starting weapon I can get for Pinkoya. Which is the Swedish Halberd. It's weird, the stats aren't st showing up for that one for some reason. Showing up for the infantry spear. Huh. But, uh, it's 18 damage, which is a pretty good improvement over what I had. And, I'm also going to go ahead and buy a camp token. Since, since I have all this money, I might as well. So off to Pokuro Park. Oh, crap, I forgot to sync the chat. Hold on one moment. <laughs> and I forgot, apparently I wasn't logged into Twitch, which is weird, I should have been. Oh, wait for the chat room to refresh. It's probably not going to. There we go. Okay. By the way, that jellyfish hovering around Pinkoya? She has several special abilities that use that jellyfish, and they all seem to be pretty useless compared to her melee abilities, so for me that's just going to be a decoration. She doesn't look like much of a fighter. Uh, well, she is actually probably the best character in the game as far as cheesiness goes. Um, which makes sense since it's kind of a pain in the ass to unlock her. Grab your belonging. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what she's like in a minute here. I'm going to, uh, by some sort of summon by Verbum Dave for 14,000. Uh, that's okay. Hmm. Well, I could go with the Jackal or I could go with the Golem. Those are probably my best bets. Specifically, Stone Golem and Wood Golem. I want to go Wood Golem. I like the Wood Golem a lot. Alright, so we are fully equipped, and I'm going to make sure I enter the uh, the easiest path. No muscles or anything. Well, you know, she's like a mythical, mythological being. Uh, she's, uh, I mean, note, note how she's hovering a few inches off the surface of the ground, so this is not a, this is not an earthly creature. 
Alright, I have no idea what to expect. Well, I sort of have an idea what to expect, but I don't know how well I will be able to handle it. This is the first time I've ever tried Nightmare Mode, and uh, it should be fun. If I fail, I'm probably... I'm not going to spend too much time trying to beat Nightmare Mode, uh, but I've, I figured I had to give it at least a shot or two before I moved on to a different game. I don't know, maybe I should have gotten Verbum D. Because, I mean, his his health bar is like twice as large as the Wood Golems. So, probably would have been worth it. Well, okay, not quite twice as, twice as much health, but about 1.5 times as much health. What you got, old man? I will buy a large health file. Hmm. 15% chance to avoid an attack. That's, that sounds pretty good. Either of these weapons any good? Nah. I'll buy that. And I'll buy the mana vial. Alright, so the main differences in Nightmare Mode are that the enemies are a lot more aggressive about ganging up on you. Like, normally the enemy AI the enemies are sort of programmed to lay off a little bit when you have a lot of enemies around you. So so you don't have like... Like if I'm, if I'm fighting four enemies, they won't all necessarily try to attack you at the same time. Whereas in Nightmare Mode, you know, all bets are off. And also the bosses have uh, their additional enemies that you have to fight during the boss fights. And I believe those are the two main differences. What goes the map also seems to be a little, uh, a little more weighted towards hard levels rather than easy. Well, more more hard and moderate, much less easy, much fewer easy. So yeah, in just a, like a normal one-on-one -on -one fight, I don't think it's going to be that much different than than not on Nightmare Mode, because I don't think the enemy AI is substantially different, except for their tendency to g gang up on you. I'm not sure though. Glad that stone golem didn't come down here so I can pick these guys off. Just the two of them. Aw, I gave that guy a big old bear hug. No ice attacks at the moment. I actually think this game got popular really quickly when it got released. Total Biscuit and NL posted videos about it, I think. Oh, Northern Lion. Yeah, there was also a, a giant bomb video about it. Uh, well, one of my friends, Pinfeldorf, recommended it to me first, and then after I watched the giant bomb, quick look. Uh, and you know, saw it in action. I thought it looked interesting enough for me to get. But I mean, like, only a couple of my friends are in this game, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of buzz about it. So, I, I think there's been like a lot of coverage of this game, but not necessarily a lot of people playing it. I mean, this game definitely has definitely has its flaws. Don't get me wrong; it's it's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, 
but I really like the way the game plays. Like, the actual physical mechanics of the game, I find just fantastic. Uh, it does seem pretty light on content. Um, there's not really... Like, for a, normal, for a normal person who doesn't care about the achievements, once you beat the Warlock, there's really not a whole lot else to do in this game. Because there's really no reason to, to unlock all the characters except in the competitive versus mode. And I don't plan on on playing that at all. Ooh. Midas Ring seems tempting. But, uh... I think the Mirror Necklace is way better than the Fleur de Lis, so... I think I will go with that. And again, it's a roguelike. RLs tend to get some attention when they're released. Well, yeah. Th that's another aspect of it I'm a little disappointed with. Like, the, uh... The randomization is not necessarily the most interesting of of recent roguelikes. Like the level designs are, are pretty they're pretty plain, to be perfectly honest. I mean, yeah, the layouts are different, but there's really not that much difference from from one playthrough to the next. Whereas look at something like Rogue Legacy, where the uh, the castle layouts are like completely, uh, like completely different every time, and uh, it's it's not quite as interesting as a roguelike, as as most roguelikes I played recently. Oh man, that is a bad situation. I need to. Uh, whoa, what? <laughs> oh my god. Well, there there's one aspect of nightmare mode I wasn't anticipating. Enemies throwing you through the ground. Well, Wood Golem is on his last legs. Damn, another fire barrier. Shoot, oh well. This was just a moderate level, right? Yes. So I have one more easy level, and then, uh... Well, I, I guess it's broken up pretty well with some easy levels and moderate levels in there. But yeah, other than being a little light on content, I, I really enjoy this game. And I mean, I only pay 10 bucks for it, so I, I really can't complain too much. Turn around, you jerk. Yeah, Pinkoy's reach with that pole arm and... Her abilities are just insanely powerful. Oh, hey. Damage 12. Hmm. Yeah, I'd rather stick with the 18 damage than, than have a, the curse ability. Curse isn't really all that useful for the player character anyway. I mean, it slows the enemies down a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Should have kept my um, my spin going. Crap, I shouldn't have aggroed that guy. Or that lady, I should say. <laughs> I like how the spider is crawling on the non tangible border of the screen.
Well, I guess, I guess it is tangible now, but it's not like... It's not like a real thing. The invisible wall. Oh, my mana meter's full. That's good. I'm gonna have to... I've been saving my mana to try to capture enemies that I don't have already. And I'm gonna have to... Okay, Ben Franklin. I'm gonna have to be more generous with my mana usage. Because, you know, if you have a full a full mana bar and you're not capturing an enemy, then every mana pickup from that point on is just wasted. Like, right now, these totally wasted. I could pick up that pole arm and go open that fire barrier. And that's quite a ways back, though. So, I'm just going to continue. Alright, getting back into modern territory now. Put on to your butts, everyone. Uh, okay, I'll get a stone golem. That's fine. Let's see if I can get both these guys. Nope. In my, uh... My AoE attack. Do a little extra damage. All right, Tony Stoney. So would you say that the three main characters are not really equal in terms of power? Uh, Katrien and the Monk are about equal, and Pinkoya, the character I'm playing now, is is way more powerful than those two. But to get Pinkoya, you have to throw 30,000 gold into the fountain that only shows up, you know, once per dungeon, or once per run, and uh, it can take quite a long time to... Uh, accumulate that much gold and and actually unlock her so you know I, I would hope she would be more powerful than the, the starting characters might be a little overpowered though all right boss time and since it's nightmare mode I'm gonna have two of these guys to deal with I'm not sure which two okay so it is nightmare pinkoya nightmare monk and I'm off to a great start here. Oh my god. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Great. I'd love to be able to stand up. I, uh... Oh my god. I uh, underestimated how difficult this was going to be. Well, I guess I could always just cheese him to death. If I pop my mana potion, I could probably capture one of them, do a little bit of extra AoE damage. I kind of want to save it though, because I don't really want want either of these characters. Well, I might be able to uh, to just build up enough mana without having to use my potion. But by then, these guys will be almost dead. Hopefully. Not sure how much how much health the monk has left. Okay. Oh man, that was rough. 
I don't know what I was expecting from Nightmare Mode. Oh, kind of like the, the Tunnel Digger in Spelunky. Yeah, kind of. Pretty similar to that, actually. <sighs> Not sure how many... How many attempts at this I'm going to do. Eventually... I'm going to run out of money. Equipping myself with the best stuff every time. I think after I get through this stretch of moderate levels, if I can live that long, I'm going to go on ahead and drop my camp token. See if I can group these guys together so I can get AoE on both of them. Oh, I'm probably too far away. Shit. Nope. Okay, that worked. No! Oh, crap! Wow, he, he just grenaded that guy to hell. And back. Okay. There wasn't an altar on this level already, was there? I don't remember. I wasted that mana potion, but... I lost it. But that's okay, because I'm going to have a... a completely healthy wood golem to use. Alright, definitely no altar yet. Hopefully there will be one on this level. I don't know, the items that you get at the Devil Altars are just not worth not having a normal altar in the in, in that level. Oh, here we go. Nice. Like, it's just not... I'm in your debt. The warlock... this helps. I'll keep clear. I will. Like, the, uh, usually it's just like a curse bracelet or some sort of, like... Some some sort of item that powers up your uh like your fire damage or your, or your ice damage or something like that. And I mean I'd much rather just have whew, have a normal altar in every level. It cost me thirty six it would cost me practically all my money to get this sword or get this glaive. Oh Chilean soldiers sure, sure look goofy with those hats. Well, I mean any soldier before like World War One probably. Always looked really silly. I mean go back and look at like soldiers under Napoleon and they just dressed ridiculously. And I just went to take a drink of water and I realized that there's something floating in it. Which is super gross. I don't know what that is. Looks like a piece of paper. Sorry everyone, I'll I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Alright. Should I spend all of my money on a weapon? Why the hell not? Men went to war in Tyson with wigs back then, yeah. Really true.
War was a, uh, a gentleman's game back then. Fire upgrade. Well, that's actually nice since I just bought a fire weapon. Alright. Oh, I won't be able to use my camp token on the easy level since it's an arena. Maybe either the level right be right after that or right before that. I'm not sure which one. Hey, level 50. Nice. The level cap draws ever closer. Hopefully I, I don't run into another mini boss. Because having to fight two of those at once really messed me up. Oh crap. I really like that slap attack. It's pretty funny looking. I like how if you do die and get revived, it starts sending out uh, soldiers to, he to help you every once in a while. That's really smart. It's like adaptive difficulty. It's like, okay, you're having trouble, so here's, uh, here's a little bit of assistance. Ooh. Ooh, this is a good secret room, unfortunately. I am now almost completely broke. Still a good room though. Got a health potion out of it. That's always a good room. The only problem with Pinkoya is that her health is so relatively low. Like, like, if I had a level 50 monk, it would probably have almost a thousand more health than Pinkoya has at level 50. Alright. Still gonna hold on to my camp token. Like to get... I'd like to get at least halfway through the dungeon before I use it. Since being revived and having, like, 75% of the dungeon left to go back through again is just really demoralizing. Oh, I guess I could, uh, bring this guy back out. Oh, I hear... Guitar skeleton around here somewhere. There you are. guy has a lot of opinions about money. Uh, too big to reach egg. What do I do? I don't know why I call that thing an egg. It's like an egg-shaped something or other. An egg-shaped vase charm, eh? Well, as tempting as that is, the damage is way too low. Alright, so... so this is an arena room. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to fight Verbum Day if I continue down this path. I don't think you have to fight additional enemies when you fight him, though. I think it's just him. I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. I, I don't think the guy I watched play Nightmare fought Verbum Day. No. This lady, huh? I read that opposing sides of the war even celebrated certain holidays together back then. Like if it was Christmas or something, they would lay down their weapons and go drink or something. Yeah, uh, having like temporary ceasefires was pretty common. 
Okay, Whew. this is a pretty, pretty forgiving combination of enemies. Could could have been a lot worse. Could have been a jackal and a skeleton warrior. That would have uh, that would probably that would probably have ended me. And another Pudu Tar, nice. And a Birdman. Kicked in the head by a deer. What a way to go. Oh, he's not behaving like a Nightmare Mode AI. He is very much playing like a normal... like a normal monster. That's, that's kind of odd. Right, that could have gone a lot worse. Kind of ashamed to have this soul that that I'm not going to use. Uh, I wish I could like convert it back into mana or something. See, this time, both I and my monster were both completely healed. That's weird. Hey, Quack Party, thank you. That's very nice of you. I'd like to say you're awesome too, but I don't think I know you. But, I mean, you have good taste in streamers, so you're probably pretty awesome. Uh, I'll buy this health vial. Sure. Alright. Said I was going to wait until I, w I was halfway through the dungeon, and I think I'm going to hold myself to that. I have a skill point to allocate. Uh, this is what this jellyfish ability looks like, by the way. I mean, it's it's oh, kind of cool, it's just not very responsive. Like, like it's it subtly changes colors from pink to blue when you can actually activate it. So it has like a little bit of a cooldown. And like, I don't know. Like I said, it's it's useful, but it doesn't really combo into anything. So I, uh, I tend not to use the jellyfish abilities. And then this one, oops, wrong special, has like a shock, which is pretty cool, but it, it also has a cooldown. You have to wait for those little those little dots to reappear reappear around it and then one more jellyfish ability and it's like kind of a uh, oh it just flies in a circle circle around you so yeah not uh, not very interesting to me I would much rather have uh, is, it, is it this one yeah okay I'd much rather have that Oh man, three three undead soldiers. That's it's not pleasant. Eh, could have been could have been worse.
Hmm. Well, we have another boss coming up. Great. On the plus side, I have two characters with full or almost full health bars and four mana potions. So I'm not at risk of dying anytime soon. But this is probably going to be a huge drain on my resources. The important thing to remember is not not to get uh, not to get cornered, and not to have one of them on e on each side of you. Like if you're if you find yourself between the enemies, or between the enemies and a wall, then it's not going to end very well. You always want you always want to be able to move backwards without hitting an enemy or, or a wall basically. Crap. Whew, got one of them. Got the monk. These undead soldiers look like they're from Tron or something. Yeah, a lot of stuff in this game kind of has that look. Like the king has sort of the uh, the the Tron like laser skin appearance. That's not better than what I have, is it? No, not even close. All right, well, I have another arena coming up, so if I can actually succeeded this and hopefully the golem can get some of that health back mirror match eh well mirror match plus a sea witch oh wait it's not a sea witch I, f I forget what I forget what this, what this lady is called she must be the sand witch Oh yeah, he has this—he has that dumb dagger throw. I don't like that ability. I like how the monsters carry the uh, the main character's weapon around, so you, you can easily tell yourself from the monsters you're fighting. Oh no, not a skelly. Anything but a skelly. I mean, you can easily tell yourself apart because of the P1 too, but it's nice to have a, that visual difference there. Crap. No. I let myself let myself get uh get pincered. No, another one. I'm dead. I'm screwed. I'm boned. I'm gonna pop a potion. Up, oh, out of cancel points. Didn't realize it made made a sound. Like it makes a. Like a doom sound when you don't have enough points. Never noticed that before. Crap, I cancelled out of that move too soon. And that one. Ah, oh, Damn it! I hate skeleton warriors with a fiery passion. Oh well, at least Pinkoya didn't take any damage from that. I think the wood golem did take a little bit of damage. How's my mana doing? Oh, my mana's almost full again. That's good. Nope. I'm not likely to find a weapon just lying around better than what I have, because I spent 
a lot of money on that weapon. Crap. Oh, this guy is not good at- not good on ice at all. Jesus. Frozen! Well, thank god they didn't take advantage of that. They could have done a quarter of my life bar just by attacking me when I was frozen. Just beating up on me from either side. Alright. Roguelikes were one of the oldest video game genres. Rogue was made in the early 80s. I think all they had back then were RPGs and text quests. Yeah, Rogue, I mean, at the time, Rogue was a pretty amazing, amazingly complex game. And, I mean, you know, the proof is that, uh, or the, the, the proof of how incredible it was is that that genre of game is still around, and still beloved by plenty of people. I'm gonna take a drink here. Alright. Oh, that's right! I lost my camp token because I died. I forgot about that. And I don't have nearly enough money to buy another one. Well, that's just great. Good going, Duke. Yep. Thanks. Oh, man, it's full again. Hopefully it'll give me something worth capturing. Not going to get any... Wood golems or stone golems on on the ice levels, but uh, might be able to get a a jackal or something. Yeah, a lot more people are playing roguelikes than playing pong likes. That's for... that's for sure. Well, if I go right, I can avoid fighting Verbum Day, but then I have five hard levels to deal with instead of just two. So I think I'll take my chances with Verbum Day. Ooh, I could capture him. There's a thought. If I hold on to my mana. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Hopefully it won't make me fight multiple bosses during that boss fight. Probably, it probably will though, now that I think of it. It'll probably give me the king and one of the one of the nightmare bosses yes, well 800 for another medium health file notice how there's no small health file there's only medium and large that's like movie theater sizing they should release a patch that puts jumbo health files into the game medium large and jumbo must say the artwork in this game is well done, especially in the backgrounds. Yeah, I really love the look of this game. I think it looks fantastic. Alright, well, here goes nothing. Yep, Nightmare Catrian. And great, yes! Awesome, I love crows. Yes, dealing with being cursed while while you're fighting this boss is definitely going to make things 
a lot tougher. Yeah, the king has sort of that translucent uh, Tron aura to him as well. Alright, how close is the king? Okay. I should go on ahead and use my... Uh, Man, this is so hard to pull off consistently. Like I always, I always end up screwing it up, and having to, uh, and attacking instead, and having to reorient myself. Ooh, I can go ahead and pick this up now, save myself a little bit of damage. Even though I'm not going to use her, I can uh, take advantage of the extra life bar. The tables have turned, huh? Turning your little minion against you. I mean, she's not great. Man, I hope I can kill this guy fast enough before it wears off. Okay, ooh! Dropped a camp token, too. Pretty nice. Alright. I'll take that, I'll take that. I think I'm the only one who thinks that this game looks mad. Oh, sorry to hear that, Goss. Wow, he does have pretty much double the health of the Wood Golem. Of course, if I took Verbum Day from the beginning, I wouldn't have been able to afford my awesome, uh, my awesome pole arm. All right, well, I had to sacrifice two potions to get through that, but hopefully, I will be able to recover. I have a couple hard levels now, though. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and drop that camp token I just picked up. I'm, I'm about at the halfway point, I think. Yeah, I can't even afford a fifth of that camp token. Is that a normal? Yeah, okay. Man, this guy has really bad posture. No wonder he's so angry. His back must hurt all the time. The way he stooped over like that. Hello, friend. Hey, that's pretty generous of you. Oh! It's king time, you know what that means. It's cheese time. Like I said, every advantage I can take against nightmare mode, I'll take. Oh no, another boss. Dang it. Can I just send my horse down there to fight them? I don't want to do it myself. And that, that attack's not even knocking them down. I guess they're bosses, so they're a little tougher than, than normal enemies would be. God, this guy is so slow. Like, even against these slow motherfuckers, I feel like I'm walking through molasses. I took quite a bit of damage there, but... I guess I could have gone worse.
I should have just stood on this thing and kept using my horse. I bet they wouldn't have known how to deal with that. Oh well. Hey Lola Roos, what's up? It's an interesting emoticon you're using there. Not sure I recognize that. Skelly, that's bad news. Of course, Skelly power is no match for my cheese power. Wait, how did you do the face? I think that's one of those subscriber emotes. For uh, when you subscribe to people on Twitch, they have special emoticons that you can use anywhere on Twitch. Like, you don't even have to be on their channel. You can use them anywhere. A guy named Jeff. Or Geoff. Probably Jeff. My sayings give wisdom. If it's a critter you don't know. 250? That was pretty decent. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Anything of note down here? Besides a giant stone face? Nope, just a cur or charm weapon that I cannot use. Just, nope, no secret. I swat you with my goatee. I'm a speedrunner myself. Oh really? That's cool. I am not a speedrunner. I tried to get the speedrunning achievement in Shovel Knight and it did not work out very well. Just a normal ass 18 damage weapon laying around. No! Alright. Wow, only two more levels to go. Didn't realize I was quite that deep down yet. These two levels are both moderates, right? Yeah. Alright, King. Gunstar Heroes on Expert, jeez. I can't even imagine doing that, much less speedrunning it. God, this attack is so broken. The enemies just don't know what to do. As some failed attempts on my account if you'd be interested after Duke stream. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll check that out. All of my speedrunning attempts are failed, so, you know, don't feel bad. Do you talk while you speedrun? Because I think that's even more impressive. Like, if, if I'm trying to speedrun something, I need, like, laser focus. Trying to talk while I do it would just, uh... Would just, uh, inhibit me all the more. I thought you and Moore's beaten Gunstar Heroes quite easily. Yeah, but we were playing on, an, on easy, I think. Like, easy or medium or something. Like, not even close to expert. And even on that difficulty level, we had... I mean, I wouldn't say we beat it easily, but we had some some trouble beating it. Yeah, 
That skull is just going to ruin my day, isn't he? Nope. Not really attacking me like they usually do. They're just kind of floating there. Usually they like dive at me. I hate to be playing so cheesily with with this character, but I mean, hey, if it works, I have to do what I can to survive, you know? Knock down this wall, horse. Thank you. Yeah, I'll buy that. Hey, Galen. Hey, another health file. Nice. I'm all loaded up now. Two of them are large. Yeah, I don't think it's been long enough for Google to have done anything quite yet to really change fix things around Twitch. I mean, I'm not really expecting them to fix anything, but I guess anything's possible. I just hope they don't integrate Twitch with their uh, with their Google live stream service or their YouTube live stream service. Because that shit did not work at all. I mean, hopefully the outcome to, to Google buying Twitch is that they'll use Twitch's resources to improve what they already have. I, th I think that would be the ideal outcome. Because, you know, they already have chat that works pretty well. So if they combine that with Twitch's... Uh... Twitch's infrastructure for streaming, I think it could be good in the end. Has anyone watched the International 4? Nope, I have not watched any Dota related entertainment. I am super interested in, in those kinds of games though. Like the same way that I'm interested in games like uh, EVE Online and War Fortress games that are just insanely complicated that I'll probably never understand but you know I, I have a I have respect for people who play those kinds of games and I, I'm interested in, in them in theory I probably require that we merge our Twitch account with Google Plus yeah that's <sighs> That's probably going to happen. At least Google Plus doesn't re require you to use your real name anymore. Because they wouldn't let me be Duke of the Bump on Google Plus, so I had to use my quote unquote real name, which is Duke Bumpington. But uh, I was able to switch it to Duke of the Bump the other day. Still pretty infuriating that they ever required that to begin with, though. Heard of a prize pool that they had at TI4. Yeah, it was in, like, the multiple millions of dollars, right? Wasn't it, like, $10 million or something? Alright, boss coming up. So, I will actually switch to my character so you can hear the little, uh, the, the little intro. Yeah, pretty lame, like I said. See, do I want to get that? Yeah, I'll get that with the king, since he needs it way more than Pinkoya does. Alright, nothing, nothing I want to configure. 
YouTube still randomly logs me in as my Google Plus with with my real name. Oh yeah, yeah, that still happens to me all the time. Ooh, that's right, I get a free health potion. So I'm gonna ahead and use this one. Went into my inventory to use it manually to make sure I didn't use a large one by mistake. And I have a uh, nightmare version of myself to fight along with the warlock. Should make things pretty interesting. Did not block that fast enough. It's the epic climactic final battle of fish versus horse. <laughs> I like watching the horse plow through the fish. That was pretty pretty entertaining. Alright, took out Nightmare Pinkoya. See if I can pick up those health orbs without getting caught in an infinite loop of of punching. Alright. Warlock still has quite a bit of a bit of his health left. I wonder if it cancelled him out of his, his animation because I actually got a uh, got a parry on that block. Like if you block something with perfect timing, it does a parry and it I, I think it like I, I think it like opens the like stuns the enemy for a second or something, but it, it didn't seem to do anything that time. I don't usually bother trying to get parries because the timing on it is very precise. All right, King. You did your job very well. You you will be rewarded handsomely for that one. <laughs> I could. Uh... I could drop my AoE on this guy. I think I'm going to save it though, just in case the the living creature spawns after this fight, because I, I I do still need to capture capture him, the living creature. All right, Grand Master. Excellent. I wonder if the en ending's any different when you beat it on Nightmare Mode. I want to say probably not, because Nightmare Mode is just something they kind of patched into the game. quickly what even is Skyrim I played it for exactly four seconds eh you're not missing much I M O well that is all of the achievements in Abyss Odyssey so uh, I think I'm done streaming this game for a while until they uh until they release more content for it. Alright. Come on, living creature. Let's, uh... Let's tangle. 
That's Tango. Nope. All right, let's see if I see if it'll spawn in either of the other two locations. Man, that's really frustrating because not only do I need to capture him, he also has one of the journal pages that I still need. Yeah. No living creature for me. Oh well. You'd probably be pretty tough on nightmare mode anyway. Nope. Alright, well, uh, this has been Abyss Odyssey. Uh, sorry for the kind of short stream. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, I've enjoyed playing. Probably, my next stream will probably be a proper Shovel Knight stream. Because I played Shovel Knight, like, on Hitbox, without any commentary or anything, just trying for some of the, the impossible achievements. But I didn't do, like, a proper, you know, playthrough of that game. So that'll probably be the next thing I do. Might do a stream tomorrow if I have time. Uh, there's not much I have to do this weekend. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Uh, subscribe on Twitter and Twitch. And uh, join the Steam community for instant updates whenever the stream goes live. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Splunky Daily Challenge, maybe. Yeah, I might jump back into Splunky at some point. It's been a while for that. Oh, see you guys later.